everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all it's summertime 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 what is that song I got that summertime summertime something <laughs> but y'all we are kicking off summertime now i don't know if this is going to be my first video because y'all know when it's officially summer whatever season you know that's when i do my recommendations for the season and all of those fun things i love doing these videos so in today's video we're going to be talking about summer fragrance mist that i am looking forward to wearing so I have, of course, Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret, but I have some more thrown in here from um, a couple other brands. So y'all know that usually I like to ship, well, I go back and forth. I go between showing you only things that are, are available and sometimes I'll show you a mixture of things that have been discontinued and that are still available. So that's what I'm doing today because it's some fragrance mist that I'm looking forward to wearing that are not readily available but that you may have in your collection. So before we get started with these stupendous, fabu <laughs> summer fragrance mist I'm going to recommend to you all let me tell you what's on my lips. So today I have on the MAC Lip Liner in Cork, along with the uh, Givenchy Prism Glass Gloss in 03. And y'all, let me tell you, this is when you know that you are an addict and you have a problem. Because I told you all I wasn't in love with these gloss. Well, I told you these were good glosses, but I wasn't like in love with them and that they're overpriced and i stand by all of that but then i used this one today and i was like oh oh because this is the first time i'm using this gloss I, I bought three during the sephora spring sale so the other two i used i like them and then i put this one on and i was like oh wow i like this color and then i'm like oh let me go make sure there's no other ones you know i i like girl I'm going to have to go to freaking uh, lip product rehab one day. So, y'all, let's see if how, how long I'll be strong when it comes to those. Even though, we're not here to talk about no lip products. Anyway, let's start with Bath & Body Works Summer Fragrance Mist. So, one fragrance mist I am so looking forward to wearing is Summer Melody. This has notes of golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. And I have had this on my... I want to say in my project use it up last summer and I, I never got to it oh my God. but I'm craving this this is just a sweet melon vanilla scent you all tell me if that Navages perfumes I think it's melon kiss or it's something melon and from the notes I wondered if it smells similar to this let me know because y'all know you have to blind buy the Navages perfumes Ooh, but I just want to know if it's similar to Summer Melody. I'm curious. I know it's not going to smell exactly like Summer Melody, but it's a melon sweet perfume. So if you have that one, let me know. But this is one I am craving. I'm excited to wear it this summer. And I wanted to mention it to you just in case you all still have Summer Melody in your collection because it is good, good. Okay. And I also wanted to mention that I have... I. I have quite a few summer fragrance mist recommendations videos, so I'm going to link those throughout this video in the cards above, but just know that, you know, if some of these are repeats, that means they're still good, and then the ones that I don't have in this video, they're still good, and that will give you even more options. Okay, next we're going to talk about Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Star Fruit. This has notes of golden kiwi juicy star fruit and solar woods y'all know i love this it's a juicy fruity just delicious smelling fragrance mist in the summer i tend to go for super fresh or fruity fragrances and that's how i like to smell and this just is so good it is so good and i know that this one uh, more than likely, some of you all purchased it during the semi-annual sale. I say pull it out, 
get to spraying. This is good, 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 good. And again, that is Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Star Fruit. Okay, another one that is at the semi-annual sale that is still currently going on. And maybe by the time I post this video, it will officially be over, but sometimes you can still find stuff in store. This is watermelon lemonade. I don't have the notes for this because this, as you can see, is way older packaging. But first, I have been craving this fragrance mist. And I am not one that really, when this was, you know, just came out, I didn't really love this, but I picked it up on a whim because I got into watermelon fragrances and I do enjoy it. And this is the one, cause I was like, do I want to have, how many, I have, you know, I have a, maybe let's say, maybe three or four different watermelon fragrances in my collection. And, and usually with watermelon, I'll pick one and then I need a break from watermelon until, you know, late. I, I can't do just multiple watermelon scents in the summer usually and this is the one I was craving this is the one that made the list this year and that is watermelon lemonade it smells like a tart it smells like watermelon lemonade it's very tart it's very juicy it's fresh and it, it just smells good it smells really good so watermelon lemonade I'm excited to wear that this summer another one I've talked to you all about I don't know how many times since it's been released. This is Water Lily Springs. This has a note of Dew Kiss Lilies, Crisp Waters, and Clean Musk. This is a pretty aquatic scent. It has hints of floral, but I really get an aquatic, sweet, musky fragrance that I absolutely love. I have a travel spray of this that I know I'm gonna use up this summer because I want to, because I've been craving this. So I'm gonna use that one. And since I was trying to be good, I only got two of these. So I'm gonna use up that uh, travel spray and then take a break because I'm craving it and I'm gonna have the two full ones in my two full bottles in my collection to come back to when you know when I want to enjoy this beautiful aquatic scent again. So if you didn't grab it during SAS, if you see it in your store, I say give it a sniff because I love it. I absolutely love it. Again, that is Water Lily Springs. Okay, the next fragrance we're gonna talk about, I do not have the notes either. This is Bali Black Coconut Sands. This is a coconut scent. I remember, I think I got it two or three semi-annual sales ago. And this is a sweet, sexy, sweet type of coconut. It's not your traditional, it still does smell beachy, but it just smells like an elevated, coconut fragrance and i have the body cream in this one and i was checking my body creams you know trying to be good and proactive even though i feel like i'm drowning sometimes and trying whatever well you know in trying to make sure i'm not letting my products go bad that's why the body creams but <laughs> i was like okay i have been actually craving this because i have a perfume that i think this will just smell like <sighs> summer sexy perfection so i'm excited to wear the bali black coconut sands this summer if you have this out i mean if you have this in your collection i say pull it out because this is good it does smell like a it just smells like coconut with edge honey it's so good bali black coconut sands okay another one that i'm kind of kicking myself i only have one in my collection and i've got to get over that because it's just ridiculous this backup life i'm about sick of it so but i but then i get to some fragrances like this one and i'm like girl what were you thinking and this is Among the Clouds. This has notes of Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. Now, I know what I was thinking. This is a sweet berry vanilla scent. Very, it's not complicated. It ju you just smell like pink and pretty. Like this packaging, that is how this smells. And I was thinking, well, girl, you got cotton candy clouds. And at that time, when this came out, I was like, you got... Uh, 
boardwalk taffy which is the same thing i was like you you don't need you know those are sweeter but this this is kind of the lesser version that's what i was viewing among the clouds and stupid i was so stupid because this is so good it's so pretty just soft pretty berry vanilla sweetness easy to wear I i'm kicking myself I'm kicking myself that I only have one of these. Um, I have the perfume travel spray. So I'm going to decide which one I want to enjoy uh, because I don't want to just use them both up. And then I have no Among the Clouds in my collection. So this is good. If you have it in your collection, I suggest pull it out for the summer because it's just so pretty and sweet, but not too much. It's so easy. It's an easy reach sweet perfume, fragrance mist for the summer. And you don't have to worry about that, that, you know, that feeling of your fragrance just sitting on you and taking you out from being too sweet. <sighs> I regret not having a back of this. I, I really do. Okay, another fragrance mist I want to mention is Pearberry. This has notes of Anjou Pear, Wild Berries, Apple Blossom, Golden Freesia, and Blonde Woods. This is a back in the day uh fragrance mist and i only have one of these and it's very shampoo fruity just shampoo fruity easy smelling good in the summer because usually in the summer unless i'm going to meetings or you know different you know if i have something to do uh, i won't it depends on what i wear because unless I'm just focusing on project use it ups, I've always been the type to match an outfit, match my fragrance to my outfit. What vibe am I going for? And Pearberry is just that chilling. You just want to smell good. You want to smell fruity, clean, you know, type of scent. Just not doing the most, just kind of smelling refreshing in the summer. Because, you know, it's hot. Right As I'm filming right now, I just got back. I'm going to have to go take care of another errand because I couldn't do it while I was out. So, and I'm filming and it's hot in here because I have the light on. I have the other lights on, you know, trying to get good lighting and um, it's hot. And I feel, I feel like I'm sweating <laughs> while I'm sitting here filming this. So if you want a refreshing that, you know, you still smell good, even though you feel kind of icky, sticky, sweaty. That's what this gives me. And I do like fragrance mist of that caliber in the summertime. So this is one, if you if you have it in your collection, I say pull it out and see if you like it uh, for this time of year too. Pear Berry. Okay, another one we're going to talk about. I know quite a few people bought multiple of these, so I don't feel too bad showing this one. This is Bubblegum Pop. This has notes of gumball sugar, candy fruits, and citrus bursts. Again, pretty easy, summery, bubblegummy, citrus, girly type of fragrance. It's an easy reach, um, not trying to do the most. You know, it's more casual or, you know, depending on what you wanted to layer with this, you could sweeten it up, you could change it up. It's just good. I've been thinking about this one, kind of craving it. And I'm excited to wear uh, Bubblegum Pop this summer because it's it's just so good, y'all. It is so good. I think I got two of these and I'm, I'm not going to focus on using this up because I don't have a body cream. That's how I try to focus on what to use up in my collection based off of the lotions and body creams because they go bad faster than the actual fragrance mist. So this is one I'm just going to, when I wanna smell really girly, really flirty, just really pretty, pretty, fluffy, fluffy, this will be what I'll reach for, bubblegum pop. Absolutely love it. Okay, another one that is more of the aquatic, um, fresh, clean, how I like to smell, especially when I know I'm going to be hot. Like if I know, okay, like next, I'm planning to go to the outlets to start um, looking for <sighs> some, some outfits to go back to work because I have, you know, district meetings and things. And I like to get a couple new um, outfits 
every season. Not a whole lot, just a couple. And I know I'm going to be hot. I know I'm going to be sweating because these stores, these stores will be cold. They're trying to keep that bill down in stores, the managers, the company people. So it is hot when you be walking around in the summertime trying to do anything in freaking Texas. So I know when I choose, when I decide to go, I'm going to want to smell fresh, pretty, and something that will, that won't start smelling kind of off mixed with when I'm sweating because you have some fragrances you can wear when you're sweating it smells even better really and then you have some that can turn a little rough little rank you know so this would be one that fits that category endless sea this has notes of fresh bergamot saltwater lily and ocean driftwood this to me is just as pretty as water lily springs i mean do i like this one even a little bit better because i have three backups of this full size and then i think i have a little bit left of a travel spray oh and i bought the perfume in this if you if you love like i said aquatic pretty fragrances because aquatic fragrances can lean more cologne smelling, very unisex, which to me, this is unisex, but it's still pretty to me. I love this. I love this. Let's say if you're going to an amusement park or, you know, you're doing summer things where you're going to be out hot, sweating, you know, maybe you're taking your kids to the, to the little league, whatever going to be going on in the summer. This is kind of what I like to go for. Fruity, aquatic um just you smell good you smell clean Woo! i love me some endless sea y'all endless sea now if you want to smell elevated clean clean with money honey fresh getaway this has notes of bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air i have not given this any love no love and I'm gonna give it some love this summer because I have backups of this. And I'm like, girl, what are you holding on to it for? Enjoy it. Ooh, y'all. The ooh, yes. <laughs> this is fresh citrusy. I'm on a cruise. And you know, you're standing there and you have, you I don't know, you got, you're smelling the fruits and things somewhere and you have the ocean and you have the wind and everything comes together and you're standing there stylishly. That's what this is. This is so citrusy, fresh, aquatic. It is so good. So good. Fresh, get away. Yes. Uh-huh. That is good, good. Okay, we have two more left from Bath and Body Works. This is Tahiti Island Dream. This has fresh coconut water, sparkling mandarin, kiwi blossom, lush frangipani, and Tahitian vanilla musk. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I went into Bath and Body Works to give me an update um, on previous hauls. So I returned the shampoo because I just don't feel like it was doing the best for my hair, but I kept the conditioners. I returned the shoes because I've got another pair, smaller size, uh, not it, totally brand new from those sandals. And was that all I wanted to tell y'all? Oh, and I returned that uh, Victoria's Secret New York Stories perfume because I couldn't get with it. I could not get with it. So. For that haul video, I will have it linked above so you can see what I'm talking about. But I, I saw Tahiti Island Dream, but I was just like, I'm not giving Bath and Body Works any more money. <laughs> and every time I smell this, I'm like, girl, get one more. Because oh, I got two of these. And I'm like, girl, get one more. This is so lush tropical but softly vanillic it's if that's a vanilla in the base that's getting me that tahitian vanilla musk comes through on the dry down because this is so fresh and i wasn't loving it but it would still smell good but on that dry down 
that vanilla Tahitian vanilla must brings all this together and it's perfection it is the perfect tropical vanilla scent that doesn't just stay one way you it takes you on a little the scenic route and every stop is good but then the destination is perfection and that's that tahitian vanilla musk and i i feel like i need one more y'all oh no i just said i'm turning this back up life <laughs> but then they they ugh, i don't know i don't know tahiti island dream though if you if you got this during says girl get ready to wear that out in the summer if you didn't get it go smell it go smell it and let it dry down on you and then you see if it's if that's if it's perfection to you like it is to me okay the last one we're going to talk about from bath and body works is copper coconut sands this has notes of sun-kissed coconut um soft orchid petals and creamy sandalwood this is one that i think this was like two or three semi-annual sales ago and i was like <sighs> I got it and I liked it, but I wasn't like blown away with it. But you see a little dent, because this is what I do. I got a little dent and then I started really liking it. And I was like, oh my goodness, I only got one, put it down. <laughs> this is sweet, creamy, beachy, warm coconut scent. It smells like being out in the sun with uh, the sun on you and you, you got, you smelling like this. And you just smell warm, beachy, coconutty, a little sexy. It's good. It is so good. And y'all, I only have one and I be tripping. Y'all see, I can't, I'm just a hot mess. But this is so good. If you have it still in your collection, I suggest pulling it out. Copper Coconut Sands, so, so, so good. Okay, so now we're going to talk about old Vicky, okay? So, from Victoria's Secret, they released quite a lot of spring, summer um, collections that were really good. But I've talked about those so much. And I also, wanted to, I also wanted to tell you all in this top however many I put in here, we're just going to say 10, 20 uh, fragrance smiths that I'm actually planning to wear. You know, so if you, all the ones that I've done reviews on, I say they're really good for summer, they still are. But these are the ones that stood out to me because when I'm preparing for these videos, I sit and I think of ones that I really want to wear, I pull those first. And then I'll look at the collections that just came out because it can get overwhelming when I'm reviewing everything. And I'm like, what came out? What was that? And y'all know my memory. And then I'll re-smell it, think about it, like, do I really, am I really, is this really speaking to me for this summer, this season? And that's how I choose them, okay? So, if you don't see some in here, that doesn't mean they're not good for summer. It's just not the ones that I'm thinking about wearing this summer. So the first one I have in here is Vanilla Dusk. This has notes of Tahitian Vanilla honey and Honeyed Fig. This is a fragrance that I will always and forever regret only getting one because this was before my backup era started and the lotion is, is to the point where I need to go ahead and use this fragrance mist. And it is to me a tropical honey vanilla scent and it's so good. It is so good. And I've been craving this. I started wearing this like natural organically. And I, I saw that dent growing and growing. And I put it out because I didn't want it to be gone. And now it's time to use it and enjoy it. And I am. So if you have vanilla dust, to me, this is a year round vanilla. But it's something about Tahitian vanillas that make me think tropical vanilla. And they just... You know, because this came out in the fall. And you can wear this. Like I said, to me, this is year-round. But I love to wear it when it's a little warmer. And it's just it's just magical. Okay? So if you have Vanilla Dusk, pull it out, y'all. Try it for the summer and enjoy it to your heart's content. And if you have backups, I'm a little jealous of you, boo. Okay, so this is Coconut Passion. This has notes of island coconut and warm sands. 
Um, I got this last summer. As you can see, um, she was well loved, okay? I had never tried this. What made me get this? And this is from the core line at Victoria's Secret. And I never tried it. And I think I was reading somebody's comments and they were like, oh my goodness, coconut passion smells so good. It's sweet and creamy coconut. Compliment getter, da 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 da. So I went and got it. And as you can see, it's good, good. It's just a sweet, creamy coconut scent. So if you all, tis the season right now for coconut fragrances. And I've been slow on the coconut train, but I'm slowly catching up. I, I still wouldn't say I'm coconut obsessed. Even though this year, this season, I have been like craving and trying to find like the perfect coconut vanilla scent. Just the perfect balance. I don't feel like I've found perfection yet, but I've gotten close. And this one is good. Now, y'all, I was in Victoria's Secret and I noticed that they redid the packaging of their core line. I must say I wasn't loving it. Um, made me want to go online and order to see to order these before they turn all to the new packaging but i was like no girl you you can wait you can wait but this is good coconut passion oldie tried and true and it's still good good from victoria's secret okay this is one that surprised me but this is santal nightfall this has notes of black currant um and jasmine air this smells like an expensive bougie soap but it has like some musk or something this is what i would wear to go to a meeting and i wanted to smell okay because sometimes when we go to these trainings and different things during the summer you know it's hot you moving around you got to go over to this side of the building to that side upstairs outside cut across you know and i did you i be sweating <laughs> so i think of these type of fragrances because it smells a little elevated i don't know it makes me think i don't know if this is the name okay but it makes me think clean in a nighttime kind of alluring way so yeah i like this i like this Santal Nightfall, good, good, okay? Another one I've talked about, I don't know how many times, Sizzling Vanilla. This has notes of coconut milk, sugar cane, um, musk, and sweet mango. This smells like sweet, creamy, tropical, fruity candy. It smells like uh, one of my favorite discontinued Killian fragrances, Kissing. <sighs> it smells so good. I mean, I almost put Bare Vanilla Heat in here too, but I've talked about that. And like I said, you all, they're the, they're the same good ones. And I don't know if I'm craving that one this year. We'll see. Because your cravings can change. But this is one that is so good. It's so what is it hot girl summer you know everybody's still saying that um this is a hot girl summer fragrance mist because you smell it smells like a hot attractive flirty you know woman it really does yes oh it's so good <laughs> sizzling vanilla so good y'all i was about to talk about about another fragrance mist and then i re-smelled it and i was like i'm not feeling this one well, you know that's what i mean by feelings can change so i took that one out the video because I, if i'm not i was feeling it when i prepared for the video but now i'm like oh i don't know so it has to be absolute this i'm still loving them to be in my recommendations video because i'm not i'm never going to recommend something to you that i'm unsure of so i took that one out now, so the last fragrance that I want to talk about from Victoria's Secret is Victoria is from Victoria's Secret Pink, and that is Rocket Pop. And this has notes of cherry ice, sunshine lemon, and blue raspberry. I'm already excited to smell this again. Y'all, 
this feels so good. That's why I didn't put Firecracker Pop in this um, video because to me, Rocket Pop is better. It's so good. It's so freaking good. It just smells summertime fun. Um, you smell the cherry ice. You smell the sunshine lemon. You smell the blue raspberry. To me, it smells like the perfect um, slush from Sonic with all of these combined. Or it smells like the perfect shaved ice combo. That's our, if people want to say that, what is that? Uh, blue cream and red popsicle that I think this is named after. It smells like all those, y'all. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. And I did not get a backup because I'm like, Shaughnessy, stop yourself. <laughs> but it's good, y'all. It is so good. So I highly, 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 highly recommend Rocket Pop and I think they're having a sale right now on uh, Victoria's Secret Pink for some of these newer fragrances so y'all check that one out because it is so good okay so these last fragrance mists we're going to talk about are ones that are not um, from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret so I have four here the first one I'm going to start with is Tropic Glow from Tree Hut now, this is an affordable dupe of Chirosa 62. Hold your breath. Hold on, though. I like this better than Chirosa 62 for the summer. Because this is fresher. Chirosa 62, for me, in the heat, can be too much. I sprayed this on me yesterday because I was like, oh, my goodness, these sparkles. That's the only thing with uh, Tree Hut fragrance mist some of them they put shimmer in them and i was like is this too much shimmer but i kept smelling myself and i was like dang girl this tropic glow is smelling delicious but it wasn't too much for me because Jerosa 62 sometimes can be a little thick when you're going out in you know triple digit heat for me i know it's made for that but i have to be in the mood to smell kind of thick sweet on me when I'm sweating and hot. Now, if I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna walk in, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be cool and not be hot, then that's a whole different conversation. But if I wanted to wear this going out and about and I wanted to smell like softly sweet, fresh, a little creamy, but not too much, this Tropic Glow is perfection. Gives you a little shimmer, it's not too much, it's not glittery really, it's very finely milled. These Tropic Glow makes some doggone good fragrance mists that are long lasting and fragrant and potent. I wish they would come out with more. Like where is the rose fragrance mist and where is the rose body oil? I keep asking for those and I'm not getting them. <laughs> but this is good and very affordable Tropic Glow from Tree Hut. Okay, I have two from Le Mans Gourmand. This is Papaya Tropique. Y'all, this smells like juicy, fruity perfection. <sighs> this smells so good. This smells so doggone good. So, like I told you, I like to smell fruity. I like to smell fresh. This is so good. Fruity perfection. Oh my goodness. And it's $15. Um, they do, they last well. So good. So, so, so good. Papaya Tropique. And y'all, I forgot. I have two watermelons in here. This is one. Melon D. Melon Dew. That's what we're going to say. Y'all, this has notes of, well, it just, it, this these fragrant mists don't really give notes. But this watermelon, this doesn't smell like watermelon Jolly Rancher. This smells like juicy, fresh, a little tangy, perfumey type 
of watermelon. And it's strong, it's potent. So good. It is so good. Melon dew. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't it doesn't smell just like watermelon. It smells like a mixture of fruits, but the watermelon is the predominant note you get. It's so good, y'all. So good. So the last fragrance mist I'm going to talk about in today's um, lineup for summer is Charosa 48 from Sol de Janeiro, a.k.a. Bikini Season. So Bikini Season has notes of sunlit orchid, guava nectar, coconut water, pink musk, and lemon. So y'all, before we get to talking about this scent, huh, I, you know, I had my date set to get this new Charosa 48 at Ulta. But I kept looking at those notes and then in the marketing, it said bikini season. I said, wait a minute. You not about to get me again, Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> so I went and got pulled out my bikini season, and it's the exact same notes. And then I said, well, let me do some more research. Let me make sure that I'm giving correct information before, you know. And so I read through, and somebody even said, who received this in PR, was like, oh, yes, um, Bikini Season was my favorite fragrance mist, and I'm so excited that they made it permanent for Charosa 48, and da 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 So I, am, I put this one in here because I'm planning something else for Sephora, but they say this is going to be at Ulta first, so Charosa 48. I'm sure it's going to end up at Sephora. But this is the first time Ulta is getting something from Sol de Janeiro that Sephora didn't get first. So I don't know how long it's going to take to get at Sephora. So I put it in here. So Charosa 48 Bikini Season is back, y'all. This was so many people's favorite fragrance mist. And it's, it is good. It's fruity. It's, it's fun in the sun. It, you know, it smells summery, fun, casual, pretty. If you, it's very fruity. That, that's all I can say. It's a fruity, musky, kind of juicy, uh, a little citrusy. Did I say musk already? Musky type of fragrance mist. This one was not my favorite. I like this one, but it wasn't my favorite. My favorite will always be from that collection, When in Rio. The, the hot pink one. If they brought that back, I would be just, I would... I would love Sol de Janeiro even more than I do now. But I, this is a good one. So now I was like, because I had it in my cart set. Because at first I was going to place an order. But I am sick of online orders, you all. So I was like, I'll just wait. If you all wanted bikini season back, it's supposed to be at Ulta uh, July 23rd. And I plan to go up there and pick up the big fragrance mist. Well, I'm not now. I'm going to enjoy this one. And, and now I know... If I want, you know, I can go get it again. I don't have to hold on to it because my limited edition fragrance mist, I do take a long time to use them because I know they're going to, you know, you, you can't get them again. So now this one is one I can thoroughly enjoy this summer and I don't have to worry about, oh, it's not going to be back because I really do like it. So I just had to throw that one in here, you all, because Sol de Janeiro has got me plenty of times. You know, I'm thinking, what was that? That Radiance one? I don't have it over here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, that was tan lines. I think it was tan lines. Anyway, I bought it. I was like, this is the same thing. So I be checking now. I be checking <laughs> before I go drop my money, honey. Um, and I'm glad I caught it. So if you all have bikini season, pull it out. And then if, you, if you've used it up and you want it back, you can get it all to June 23rd. All right, y'all, so those are all the fragrance mists I'm excited to wear this summer. If you enjoyed this um, video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what fragrance mist you are excited to wear this summer. I would love to know. Please share this video with everyone, you all, because we are still trying to keep it growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notification kitchen bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye